Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, this is country. What is it, Tuesday? When y'all get this old school country breakfast, I'm kind of swaying off on that country breakfast. I'm kind of show you something. I'm going to show you why I'm doing old school waffles today. I'm going to give you a little story. Y'all know I got a story to everything. I just don't cook stuff to be cooking it. But uh, I'm going to give you a little story from my childhood. I guess kind of celebrating Black History Month. This is definitely history since I'm black and this is history. I'm going to tell you a little story, what you see in front of you. And I got another big video coming. I think it's going to be next Monday. And, uh, I guess I have to do it Sunday then. Uh, it's going to upload Monday. Uh, uh, the history of old school soul food and how to be successful at it. The ins and outs and difficulties I went through and just how to be, be a better successful person. The way I've done it. But that's coming up in another video next Monday. But let me show y'all something here. I got a Krupp's waffle maker. I'm going to make the waffles, the iron waffles in this morning. And uh, that, as you can see when I open it up, it's on. It's hot, y'all. I'm going to make waffles. I already got it heating up. You've got four large Belgian waffles. And here's something else. This vision where I was telling y'all about a few months ago. I actually got a 10 piece. This is eight pieces sitting up in here. I got another one stuck down in storage. I need to find it. But it's a 10 piece corning wire. The reason I got this out here, I'm gonna show y'all how I'm a, in, in my early years, I'm a kind of stickler for value. I used to do this stuff I used to do. I don't do it anymore. I used to go to garage sales in rich neighborhoods and uh and look through things. Because rich people, number one, they don't, a lot of them tell you a little backstory on rich people. A lot of them don't cook. If they do, they got all this fancy stuff that they don't know how to use it. Because I've been a lot of cooking parties for the all real, I'm talking about real loaded rich, like million, million, millionaires. They got these beautiful kitchens and stuff like that. They don't cook in them. They got all this fancy, all clad and all these different pots and pans. They don't use them. They don't even know how to use them. So what happened we just was on a Friday, I'll never forget it. Me and my friends are still friends today. They said, Oh, Jeffrey, let's go to the garage sale over there. Da, da, da. Okay, Friday. We were, I happened to be off that Friday, I guess. I, you know, I'm never off on Friday. I, to, I must was off. Maybe I was on vacation. So it was a Friday morning. Went through the neighborhood. My friends, they looking for other stuff. But I like the value of things. So we went to this one house. This lady had this sitting out here. This was 94. I was in my late mid, mid to late 20s. So she had this out here. These was in the box, y'all. These here. This uh, vegan wire was in the box. It's five. It's ten pieces. I got a bigger one. I got a bigger pot somewhere. I got it down in, in, in storage somewhere. And because it was so big to fit in my, uh, I got a, uh, like I told y'all, uh, uh, when I keep all my equipment and stuff, I got a room for that. And I want to do a, a video on that one day if y'all want to see that. I got all kinds of treasures in there. I'm a stickler for values. But anyway, back to the story. She had this in a box, and then she had this waffle iron. This wasn't in the box. It was just sitting over there on the side of the table. So I walked up to her, and I had in my mind, I know the value of these. I'm thinking back in them days, these was, what, 50, 60, 70 bucks. Waffle iron like that back in the day, probably 50, 60 bucks. I said, I was going to offer like 30 for this, 30 for that. Cause I had like, I think, 70 bucks on me. You know, start low, and then if they go up a little high, you got a room to maneuver. So she said, sir, I said, ma'am, how much you want for this? And then, then I asked her how much she wanted for the waffle line, too. I'm interested in both of these. I was telling her I'm a chef. I'm an upcoming chef, and I don't have much. I was living in an apartment at that time, which is true. I mean, everything I was telling her was true. I didn't. I mean, I didn't have much to cook on. I was living in an apartment. Wasn't really making much money. One of them paycheck to paycheck type things, because I was saving so much money. It wasn't really paycheck to paycheck, but I was, I'm going to give you a history of that too. I saved so much money, put so much stuff back. I made my kind of self kind of struggle in the end where I can be successful at the end. And I'm struggling at a young age on purpose where I can be successful at the end. That's another story for another day. So anyway, I told her, can I, uh, uh, I didn't tell her how much. I said, how much you want for this and this? I really want both of these. She said, I'll tell her how I was an upcoming chef. She said, look, son, um, Say, she said, look, give me $10 for both. I, look, when she said this, I almost dropped to the ground. I said, excuse me. She said, yeah, give me five of these and five of these, $10 for both. Do you have that? I say, <laughs> I had to, 
just kind of control excitement in my heart. I say, yes, man, I guess, I guess that's fair. <laughs> Lord, forgive me. That's what I say. I say, yeah, man, I guess that's fair. So I gave him the $10. I had it. Pick that stuff up and hit it straight to my car, put it in my trunk and locked the trunk. And then I went back and browsed and walked with my friends. They were still looking around too. I didn't let them know until we got to back to the house. We met up, you know, got to the, I said, look, let me show y'all what I got. And uh, my friend Lisa, if you watching this, she's still my friend today. We always competing who gonna get the first all cash, who gonna get the first kitchen aid mixer. We always kid back and forth. Of course, I've defeated on all of those and moved on, but yeah. So yeah. Now, today, the value of this, if you look up crops or whatever, it's going to cost you about 75 to 100 bucks for one of these. They got a newer models now. This is the old school model. You know, I have to look at the temperature. When the green go off, that means it's ready to put the waffle in. When the green light go off, that means it's ready to, it's hot enough to put your waffle mix in. And then when it cook, and when it's cooking, when it go off, it's a good time to take the waffles out. So that's how you do it. Now the new fancy ones have about a temperature gauge and all that on it all. Buzzer, that's an old school one. But these vision wire, now three to four piece is running about 250, 300. I got a five piece, which is very rare to have a five piece vision wire. 10 piece, I mean, five mean five things, including the lids, you know, the lids on it. This one here I like pretty, this one's pretty cool too. Cause it's like a little, you know, look. Dish. They run you about for just the three, the six piece, you know, three. I think three piece, meaning the lids included, running about two hundred fifty, three hundred dollars. So I bet these are running about. Have a look. I bet these run about four to five hundred dollars for a ten piece uh, uh, vision wire. So yeah, I just want to show y'all that, y'all. So uh, show you a little treasures I got in the early twenties, and I hold on to things in value. A lot of people go buy clothes, tennis shoes, cars. I tell people, look, I'm going to do a video on this. Buy things that go up in value. Buy homes, property, things like that. Like y'all know, I'm looking for another house in Dallas. I bought my home. I paid it off five years before it was supposed to be paid off the one I'm living in now. And then I'll see if you want to interest how I did that, I'll do a video on that. Just to help people out there who want to know how to be successful. Starting at early age where you can enjoy life earlier than most and not having to depend on the government or Social Security. But yeah, this is something I really treasure. I got so many things in my, call it my kitchen treasure trove that uh, that's really, really valuable to me. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna step off, move this out the way. I'm gonna put in my waffle uh, stuff and green and we gonna get on with this video to show y'all how to make some old school waffles. I'll tell you a story on old school waffles when we come back. So I'm just rambling on today, but it's old school, <laughs> big country breakfast day. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, when you are back, I bet y'all say, this guy just ramble on and ramble on and ramble on. Wait till you see my video next week. It's probably going to be about 45 minutes long, but I'm going to touch on a lot of things. And a lot of people are not going to watch it. And I hope they do because it's going to help some young people out there. And even some older people just trying to, I'm going to give you advice what worked for me and be for the advice me. I hate to see people later on in life when they get in their 50s and 60s and 70s. And they struggling in life because they didn't plan in their twenties. That's very important to plan in your twenties and twenty-five. I, you will never ever understand the benefit of that. Thank God I was drove that into my mind by my parents. I had uh, advisors that did me this that really pushed me and taught me at a young age to plan for later on. I got an ant on my counter, y'all. That's unusual. Ants this time of year? I never see ants in my house. Hmm. But yeah, that's the video coming up next week. Let me get on with the video, y'all. Okay. Now I got flour, all purpose flour in here. I got salt. I got uh baking powder. I got some sugar. What I'm gonna do, y'all, I like to mix all the dry and then mix the wet and then combine them both. To me, it mix it makes the batter mix more evenly and smoother. That's the reason I do that. So I'm gonna put the uh, salt in here. Sugar. Baking powder. We're gonna mix this up in here and get it all mixed up together. I mean, you actually can dump it all in the bowl at one time if you want to, but this works for me, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna set this right over here to the side. Now here, I'm gonna put my milk in here. First, I'm gonna mix my egg up. But you know it's easier to mix the egg by itself and 
trying to uh, mix it with the milk in there. Get that all mixed up in here together. I'm making a mess this morning, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Oh, I know I hate mess. My team knows that, too. They know I hate mess. I hate it. I hate it. That's a pet peeve of mine. Mm. I hate a messy kitchen. I hate people to make messes when they cook. Mm. Okay. Let me add the milk to this. Mix this up just a little. Get the egg mix in there. Add my vanilla in here. And I tell people, pancake mix and waffle mix is totally different. Don't take a pancake mix and try to throw it in the waffle iron. It's not going to work. You're going to have a big, mushy glob of nothing. Okay, I'm putting butter in here. You can use rest of all if you want to. But butter just does something to the waffle to me, I think. Okay, let me get my dry back here. And all I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to mix these both back together. How easy is that? How easy is that, y'all? Oh, they get it all mixed up. And you know, it's just like a cake, y'all. Do not over mix it. Slowly but surely, let it get together here. And some people going to ask, you ever made uh, waffle mix with buttermilk? No, I haven't. I don't know if it's going to work. Because some people going to ask, can you substitute? That's another thing. Let me uh, touch on. People ask, can you substitute this for this and this and this? And you notice what I'm going to say. I'm showing you the way I do it. What's successful, I'm going to do it. Now, if you substitute on taking things, adding things, stuff like that, I'm not going to say it's going to work. It might, it might not. So don't come back later. Oh, this didn't work. This didn't do this. Some people do that. Look, I'm just giving you the recipe. If you alter and change or do anything to it, hey, it's not my fault. I'm telling you the way I do mine and uh, what works for me. So, yeah, if you want to add buttermilk instead of regular milk, go for it. I can't promise you how it turned out. Okay. I'm gonna let this rest, y'all. Like we let it rest about five or six minutes. We are gonna come back. I got a sheet pan over here with a rack. When I do my, oh, let me give you a little story on that. I do that when I get back. I put mine on a rack, not on the plan, on a uh, on a plate because I don't want them to stack on top of each other and get mushy. They tend to get mushy if you do that. And that the piece of purpose. You want your waffle to be crispy on the outside, nice and fluffy and tender in the inside so that's why i put it on the sheet pan with a rat so there y'all i'll be right back okay y'all we are back here all right a little story here my friend sometimes i i you know, i got a couple people working the crew we used to do we don't do this as much anymore every saturday we just come over and we shoot like three or four videos or we'll have a meeting and stuff and they bring their kids over and the big thing was chef jeffrey making waffles and that's what they love and also, we used to do a, let me, put, let me close this back up, uh, a chicken and waffle night, like once a month. And that's why this waffle iron comes so handy, because I can cook four at a time. So within, it takes about five to six minutes each batch. Shoot, in 20 minutes, I have you 20 waffles in this big boy right here. Like I say, I got it for only $5, y'all. So anyway, y'all, let me get started here. Like I said, I spray my waffle iron. I wait till the green light is off on this one. And that means it's good to go. Raise this back up. Just take a little ladle here. I always, you know me, I always over, over ladle this thing, y'all. I do it all the time. And then I got waffle mix going all over my counter. Let me see if I can do it right this time. There we go. Close this back up. That green light gonna pop back on here in a second. Just pop on in just a second here. That green light's gonna come back on. And then when it go back off, I know it's ready. But you're gonna see it steaming up. Another thing you can do if you don't have all them gadgets and stuff, when this waffle iron stops steaming, it's gonna start steaming here pretty soon. And when you stop steaming, that's pretty much a sign that the waffle is nice and golden brown and uh, inside nice and uh, crispy on the outside and nice and moist and inside. So anyway, y'all, I'll be back. I'm going to make a couple of batches of these because what I'm going to do, I'm going to make more than a couple of batches. I'm going to make a couple of batches on camera. What I like to do, y'all, 
I like to make some and freeze them. Anytime I need waffle, want waffles, I just pop them in the in my air fryer, fry air fryer, about two minutes, and I got waffles anytime I want. And I, you know, I put in my little food saver. I'm just a fanatic like that. My friends come over and look at my freezer, it's so organized, what it is, what date I put it in, in category. I'm just organized like that. Not only my home and the commercial kitchens, it's the same way. You gotta be organized like that. Make sure your food is properly put away, labeled, dated, everything, so you know what it is later. And I'm organized like that in my whole home. Everything got a place. My remotes go in the same place. My keys go in the same place. Well, I'm not looking for stuff and people know that I don't have shoes in my living room floor. No, I'm just a, 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 a demon like that, y'all. People say, oh, you're great, no. When you come to my house, you ain't falling over stuff in the living room floor and all that. Uh -uh, not at all. So anyway, y'all, I will be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. Okay, the lights went off. And this is what I have here, y'all. See this? I take mine over here. I've used this thing so many years. Come on out of there. Come on out of there. Usually the first batch, these are nice and crispy too. Or the rough ones. See that, y'all? Nice, crispy. You can, if you can, let me see. Hold on, be very quiet. See how crispy those are? So I'm going to set these. See that? I'm going to set these on the side. Like I say, the more I do them, you know, the first batch is always the crazy ones. And the more I do them, do a couple more, the better they become. Ladle in there. Make sure you don't overfill it, y'all. that up and we'll be back for more y'all sit tight we'll be right back all right y'all we are back look at these nice golden brown waffles i got the other ones over here i'm gonna make more here in a minute because i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna freeze these whenever i want waffles see this here now we gotta do that money shot with the syrup y'all gotta do the money shot y'all know i like my miss butterworth on my pancakes and waffles look at that y'all Look at that. Nice money shot there with them waffles. Look at that. So anyway, y'all, I got to do that YouTube thumbnail, and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back. All right, y'all. Ready to dig into these. One thing about waffles, y'all, you got to eat them right away. You don't want them to get soggy. Listen to this. See how cr crunchy they are on the outside? But the inside, look how tender they are on the inside, y'all. Mm. Mm. That's a waffle. Look at that. Mm. A little butter on there. <clears throat> look at the shot right here, look. Mm. 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 Like I'm saying, My neighbor kids and my crew, they kids love these. Better than them little ego waffles we grew up on. I let go of my ego. I don't think you know about that commercial. Let go of my ego. Mm-hmm. Hey, we teach them growing up. Some people still do. Oh, God. I'm in my element right now. These waffles are so good. Mm. What's that? Mm. 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 I need me fried chicken wing with this, y'all. One more bite. I like to have a butter every bite, y'all. Mm. Better than Waffle House. Mm hmm. Better than Waffle House. Ain't no wrong. 
Mm, mm, mm. Oh, y'all. Oh. One day when I do a video, and I'm not taking my food out of every video, I'm going to have my water already out. Well, I don't have to stop and stop the video and get some water. Let me show y'all again. Look at that waffle. I'm going to freeze this waffle. And whenever I want waffle, take it out, put it in my air fryer two minutes. I got me some waffle in the breakfast. So easy, so easy, so easy. So anyway, y'all, I know this video kind of long. I've talked about a lot of things. But I like to, like I said, I got an in-depth video coming out next week, or maybe later this week, to celebrate Black History Month. You know, next week's the last week. Monday's the end of the week, next Monday. So I'll probably have it upload Monday. Just to help somebody, young people, or people help me. A lot of things is not always comforting to hear at a young age. Well, later on, you appreciate somebody that got on you and kind of kicked you in your behind and kind of pushed you, you know, to make sure you succeed later on. My parents did it. When I did it, it was hard on me like crazy. I thought he was the craziest guy in the world for a few years going there. But later on in life, he said he brought me to make sure I never settled and I always try to get the best out of me that I can. And I really appreciate that, what he was doing. So anyway, y'all. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose, Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.